Paolo Terenzi is a perfumer whose influence runs pretty deep in the industry. Of course, he's responsible for his own brand, Tiziana Terenzi, which of course he started with his sister. His sister's name is Tiziana. And then of course, he's also responsible for this brand, which is called Cinque Canto. Now this brand is called Antonio Croce and Paolo Terenzi is the perfumer for this brand. Today, we're going to be focusing on a fruity floral fragrance with some really unique citrus elements. This one is called Ardente. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on this fragrance, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin my fragrance review of Ardente by Antonio Croce, and I tell you all about this fragrance, what it smells like, why I enjoy it so much, what unique elements it possesses, and why I think you should definitely sample this one, I do want to start things off by mentioning that if you are a fan of fragrance-related content, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified on all of my future uploads, and of course, give this video a thumbs up if you take something of value from today's episode. Now, before I start this video, I do want to mention that for a really, really good price, you can actually find this over at Olfactory Factory. I'm going to leave all of the information down below to where you can check it out yourself. They have it going for a really nice discount at the moment far cheaper than retail and I've had these fragrances in my possession for quite a while now, well over a year. They were not sent to me by Olfactory Factory, I acquired them through my own means. But here we have one of the best fragrances from this brand. I love Meraviglia and I know there's another one called Unica which I really appreciate, it means unique. So this one, Ardente, it opens up with this peppery, spicy grapefruit note. So it has grapefruit, blood orange, there's also a little bit of rhubarb which kind of adds like this strawberry-like sweetness. And then in the heart you have a fruity accord, you have a floral accord, some woodsy notes, and to complete the composition, you have musk in the base. So this one is incredibly versatile, a really nice balance of naturally smelling flowers and really cleverly disguised fruity ingredients where you can't quite tell exactly what you're smelling, but you pick up on tidbits and nuances of different fruits with which you're familiar. So very well blended, very well put together, and I think it's such a solid release from the brand. I'm excited to try to break down the smell smell profile, if you will, as best as I can. Let's start things off with the amazing presentation. So the opening of this fragrance is super flavorful. I mean, it opens up with this sort of grapefruit, citrusy, peppery, rhubarb combination. And you get that blood orange. It's very warm and tart, but also very bright and citrusy at the same time. Now the rhubarb that's in there actually adds a little bit of like a vegetal feel, but it also has this strawberry nuance in the opening, which is really delightful, really delicious. So it's a really nice pairing of the citrus and the fruiting nuances. And of course you also have a little bit of that peppery kick with the black pepper, but it's nothing overwhelming and it doesn't really dominate the opening in any way. I really think it's more about the blood blood orange and the grapefruit. Now, I don't know what it is, but it turns out I'm a huge fan of grapefruit, whether we're talking about Corfu by Memo Paris. This one actually does smell kind of similar to it, but this one came out first. It came out in 2017. Also, Tiger by Bulgari. Love that fragrance so much. You have this bright grapefruit opening. So you're going to get a very bright citric opening akin to some of those other fragrances that I mentioned. And then in the heart, you have this fruity floral combination that at times reminds me of Sicily 
by Mancera, and some of the other fruity floral fragrances from Mancera. Jardin Exclusif is another one, which is also said to smell like Erba Pura by Sospiro, which is now by Zerzhov, but I know that Paolo Terenzi has played around with that DNA a little bit in one of his own offerings, which is called Kirke, which is very fruity and very full and very passionate. And I feel like this fragrance kind of evokes that same level of passion, which is amazing. So the fruitiness from the heart combines with the fruitiness from the citrus fruits in the opening to kind of give it that natural and organic progression. Now the base is really where it gets interesting because you have this clean musk that kind of gives this fragrance a bed for all of the other ingredients to rest on. And it has this very soft, gentle, billowy quality that kind of promotes that feeling of cleanliness, never really taking attention away from the other ingredients. Now, I personally love this one. I think with so many from this brand, Sofisticata, Incantevole, and then you also have Meraviglia, which is a beautiful orange blossom fragrance, one of my favorites from the brand. This one is truly special in many ways because because it has a bright citrusy opening with an organic floral heart and a really nice subtle fruity heart, not as strong as an Erba Pura. And it doesn't go into that exotic melon-like territory, but it gives you more of like a familiar fruity nuance, which I guess hits a little bit closer to home, but I enjoy a wide range of olfactive offerings if you haven't already noticed, but this one truly is special, Ardente by Antonio Croce. If you are getting started on this brand and you're looking for recommendations, I would definitely recommend starting things off with Meraviglio. I would also recommend trying Unica and I would recommend trying this one. Of course, look them up online, take a look at the note breakdowns, see which one sounds like it would be more in the wheelhouse of the types of fragrances that you like. But if you're a fan of the more fruity and floral and clean and citrusy and versatile fragrances, Ardente is definitely the way to go. Love this one, all year round wear, and that's one of the reasons why I consider it to be so versatile, much more so than Meraviglia, which is more about the summertime. This one you can wear whenever you want, dressed up, dressed down, truly is a Swiss army knife. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, super unique fragrance. You know, of course, there are so many fruity floral fragrances on the market and even other fragrances that I mentioned with like a prominent fruity accord, Erba Pura or Kirke or any number of other fragrances that utilize that DNA. This one is still so different from all of those. So I definitely have to give it several points for uniqueness. Longevity is awesome. You're gonna get eight to 10 hours. Projection is amazing for the first hour of application. It didn't even start to sit closer to the skin until about that six hour mark. Versatility is great. You can dress it up, dress it down. Incredibly versatile, perfectly unisex. You can wear this one formally, like I said. You can wear it lounging around the house. It has enough of a casual vibe on account of the clean florals and the musk, but it also has that very sort of elegant CEO refined vibe on account of the grapefruit, the blood orange, and also that spicy peppery quality in the opening. So, and I think anybody of any age can pull this one off as long as you can afford it. Like I said, Olfactory Factory does currently have it for a very good price, so I think it's a solid find. And in terms of the presentation, you saw the luxurious nature of the presentation with all the different layers and the protection, and of course the disco ball looking cap and the gold hardware is really sleek. My final verdict on this fragrance is if you want a niche fragrance, with a unique personality that is going to make you stand out and make you not smell like everybody else out there. Ardente by Antonio Croce is an amazing versatile fragrance to be enjoyed by everyone, especially if you are a fan of citrusy and slightly spicy fruity floral fragrances definitely one you should check out. There you have it, ladies and gents. Thank you so much for your time today. I really do appreciate it. That was my review of Ardente by Antonio Croce. If you own or have tried this fragrance or any other fragrance from this brand, please let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to support the channel by subscribing to it. All you gotta do is hit that red button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified on future uploads, and give this video a thumbs up if you took something of value from today's review. Thanks again for watching. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.